Dumpty dum dum dum. Sabrina, Miss Spellman, Miss Spellman, Miss Spellman, huh? <gasps> oh, it's still winter. It is where we are, Sabrina. Maybe you'd like to join us here on Earth. <laughs> you were humming rather loudly. Is today's subject matter boring you? Hey, Mr. Nod and on. It appears old Bernard got his tongue stuck to a snowman again. <laughs> Bernard, get away from my snowman. You're getting spit all over it. Fifth time this winter. How many times will Bernard take that bet? Don't you worry, little guy. Once we melt the snowman's head, you'll be just fine. If you ask me, you doctors removed the wrong head. Bernard, when you get out of the hospital, you're buying me a new snowman. Oh, will this winter never end? I'm so sick of freezing every day. You can't even take your mind off the cold by doing after-school activities. Just look at what happened to the track team. Uh, someone... B please get me down. <laughs> I can't wait for summer. What I wouldn't give for just one hour at the beach, lying in the sun, sipping an icy lemonade. Oh, finding cool seashells. The smell of coconutty suntan lotion. Toes in the sand, nose in a good book. Sure, Sabrina. I'd love to join you for some hot chocolate. Hi, Sabrina. How was school? Great. It's your turn to shovel the walk. Man, it's cold out here. But, but... Don't worry, Sabrina. I'll help. You will? Sure. I'll go start the hot chocolate. Uh, oh, boy. done with winter. I'm done with freezing and shoveling snow and slipping on ice. I want out! Easy, Snowflake. Unless that steam coming out of your ears alters the Earth's axis, I count about five more months of winter left. I won't make it. Just an hour, one hour of summer at the beach just to remember what it was like. That's all I ask. That's all you ask who? Let's not kid ourselves. We both know who. I just want to frolic in the ocean just for one hour. Who's with me?
for those who can't take winter's cold and want to put their lives on hold, they'll travel to a summer's day and spend one hour in fun and play. The ocean's waves are where you'll be, where you can swim beneath the sea. But heed the sand in this hour's glass, or this will be your journey's last. For when the last grain falls apart, you can only leave from the place you start. We did it! Look at this place. It's paradise. And look, I already found a seashell. I hate to pop the Blue Lagoon musings, but anybody get what Spooky was talking about? Sure. When the hour's up, we gotta leave from the place we started, right here. Or I guess we can't get home. Worst things could happen. I love it here. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna go anywhere else. This is the only place there is. Come on, we only have an hour to enjoy it. Last one in the water's a rotten egg. And that's no yolk. <laughs> Sheesh, I think someone tied my shoelaces together. Uh, Sabrina, I got news for you. We aren't wearing any shoes. We're mermaids! Spooky spell! He said we'd frolic under the sea. I just wanted to spend an hour on the beach and he turned us into mermaids! Yeah. <laughs> I guess your hour by the sea ended up being an hour in the sea. Oh, sweet Mama Gemma, do you two look silly? Yeah, well, you better scope out your own scaly booty, fish boy. Huh? Holy me vita loca! I'm a catfish. Uh, I don't want to be a sea creature. They have to live in the ocean. It's wet in the ocean, and it's just a big rest stop for fish. I'm not going in. You may not have a choice, Salem. I don't know about you two, but I'm drying out. I gotta get in the water. I'm baking like a fish stick. I'm with you. You can't leave me beached. I'm a feline fish fillet. I need moisture. It's sand hot. I miss my floppy tail. Ah, oh, that's better. Man, we gotta get back in an hour, okay? I'll never get my driver's license with this thing. How would I ever work the pedals? Hmm. Okay, so this isn't exactly the day at the beach we had in mind, but it's only for an hour. Besides, how many times in our lives can we enjoy being mermaids? Yeah, I guess there's worse things than lazily waiting in the warmth of a serene tidal pool on our own private tropical paradise. Yeah, there's worse things, like, well... Getting creeped by a tidal wave. Did I mention I'm not a strong swimmer? I'm coming, Salem! Hang on, we'll save you! Hurry! I don't know how much longer I can hold my breath. Hey, wait a minute. Salem, you just took a breath. And and we we're we're talking. We We can breathe underwater! That's right, we're mermaids! Woohoo! If you ask me, this half-kitty, half-fishy dillio is unnerving. I have this overpowering urge to bite my own tushy. <laughs> Dizzy, underwater world, spinning. Well, we may as well enjoy it, because it's only for an hour. And the hour's running out fast. And let's not forget, we got to leave from that same little island, so we better start looking for it. Not so fast there, finny feet. There is a plus to living underwater. Just about the freshest sushi a kitty could hope for. Sorry, little guy, but it's the law of the undersea jungle. The big fishy eats the little fishies. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I bet all fish should stick to worms. Check that shiny thing. Queen Stingy likes shiny. Maybe not eat us if we give to her. Shiny. Good. Seafood gumbo, seafood sandwiches, seafood salad, seafood pizza, a seafood casserole. Whoa, 
Well, this is different. I can honestly say I never thought I'd be swallowed whole by a fish. Well, not so soon, anyway. Ooh, yuck. Do you think they make breath mints for fish? Because if they do, I say we invest. I thought I got eaten because I looked so sweet and tasty. But seeing you two proves this Leviathan has no taste. Salem? Where'd you get the light? Look around. It's like a wet and stinky mini mall inside this fish. This fish has been binging. Look, it's the necklace that that old lady tossed overboard at the end of that giant ship disaster movie. No wonder the old litterbug tossed it. It's plastic. Oh boy, would Leo be angry after all he went through? Hey, look, the long lost lyrics to Louie Louie. Hey, it's the feather that Gump Guy lost. Looky too. The scavenger hunt's fun, but we gotta get out of here and find that amulet, or we're gonna be storing our school books in Davy Jones's locker. Davy Jones? Is he that new kid in class who looks like he was in Menudo? Whoa! What was that? Feels like Moby Dick here got eaten by an even bigger fish. It did serve him right. Uh, I don't like the sounds of it. Let's figure a way out of here. Hey, check this. I saw this ridiculous idea in a cartoon once. Hmm, <laughs> cartoons. They'll rot your brain, you know. <laughs> Hang on, everyone! She's gonna blow! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Seafood pasta, seafood shake, seafood chowder, seafood dip. Well, we're trapped in a net. Any thoughts? Me have thought. Me think we not want to be in net. Okay, Fish Lips. Any thoughts besides not wanting to be in a net? Wait a minute. I have an idea. My seashell. Good job, Chloe. The kid came through. We must thank you, too. Get filter here. Very important. Our people will repay you. Come. <laughs> There she is. Hail Chloe! Hail Chloe! Hail Chloe! Hail Chloe! Man, Hail Chloe. I can get used to this. To thank you for saving life of me and Gil, we've decided to make you the new ambassador of Gilville. Thank you, thank you. As your ambassador, I promise, uh, Free seaweed for everyone. I say, uh, let him eat, skate. Hey, man, she's kidding, right? Because I don't see the humor, okay? Yay! Yeah! Hey, you are new ambassador! Yeah! Yes, adore me. Thank you. Salem, Sabrina, don't be shy. You can adore me, too. Sheesh, I'm surprised they found a crown that was big enough for Chloe's newly inflated head. Look, Mr fish person guy, we gotta get out of here. We gotta find something. Must wait. We still have musical number. Musical number? You underwater. Many adorable sea creatures around. Music number a must. Look, I'm sure we don't have time for any mu- The ocean floor, which is fathoms deep. Music so loud. The sharks can't sleep. Can't sleep. Might as well keep going forward. Water must flow through gills. Sea slugs twisting with no spine. Accidentally on purpose. You should feel really fine. You wish you'd come a whole lot sooner. Even when they're out of tuna. You'll be shocked how good you feel. To mama with an electric eel. On the ocean floor we've got it made. Where octopi gotten in the shade? Boogie whiz, BC, that you won't know. Yes, unless you watch the Jacques go. No whales flying in salt salts. Watch out there, it's the slug boot. You can do a deep six strut simply for the halibut. Although we really enjoy your show, it's time the three of us get up to go. Oh, 
Okay, that's fine, just wreck the fun. Just give us a second to get the song done. We like the ocean floor. Da, da, da. Great. Seriously, I'd clap harder if the water gets between my palms. Now, come on, Chloe, we're running out of time. Lita no can go. Lita must make offering. Offering? Must appease Queen Stingy with gift. She not like gift, she eat us. Queen, uh, Stingy? That's right, me. And if I don't like you, I eat you. <gasps> I am Queen Stingy. I rule the seas and all who inhabit them. And now you, as these pathetic creatures' new ambassador, must save them. It's up to you to thrill me with an offering, a gift. If I don't like it, I eat everything. <laughs> I take it all. Change. she should get a job at the IRS. All I have is this the shell. Ooh, isn't that pretty? A shell. Wherever could I find something as unique as a seashell? Oh, that's right. Anywhere in the sea. Hmm. You'll wish you had it if you ever got caught in a net. Well, that's it then. Creatures of Gilville, line up to be painfully stung, then eaten. Stung, then eaten. Ooh, ooh, please, let me be the first in line. Wait, your stinkiness. No need to eat our friends. Look, shiny thing, here, for you. Mmm, shiny. <laughs> me like shiny. Wait, that's mine. Excuse me for grabbing, but we need this to get home. And I need to take my mind off eating the creatures of Gilville. Just give it to us. But it's ours! It's mine, because I'm the queen, and I said so! Well, how does one become the queen? Must beat current queen in seahorse race. No one ever beat Queen Stingy. She, she! <gasps> I'll take you on. <gasps> Sabrina, what do you know about driving a seahorse? Zero, but I saw International Velvet about 600 times. I'll beat Cellophane Head at her own game. Besides, it's our only choice. We're running out of time. As bequeathed by our forefishers, yada, 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 whomever traverses the sea canyon first and returns to snatch the amulet from my fin will be queen of the seas. Go! Eat silt, blondie! <laughs> We've been hit, lads. What if I press there, then? Uh, it's a torpedo launch. Yeah! Oh. Oh. <gasps> Tail, do your stuff. I told you, I told you right up front. We're almost out of time. We've got to get back to that tiny island. That is if we can find it. You help us. You now, Queen. Queen want to go. Queen can do whatever Queen wants. We have a way for you to go back to your home. And who are they? They're flying fish. They are fast and can help transport you to your island. That's great. Thanks, Gil and Gefilte. Climb on, we fly. Up, up and away! My old silverfish! Uh, on the planes. Hop on the planes. Oh, oh. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. Terribly sorry. <laughs> oh. Curse that rebel's money! Uh, 
flying fish, sir. That's the island. Can you drop us off at the... Ah! Whoa! through this, I'm gonna kiss my furry tail hello. Yeah. <sighs> ha diggity, I'm gonna be rich. Huh? It's always something. Thank you, thank you. Man, I've never been so happy to see a winter's day in my whole life! Whew. Boy, it's quite cold out there. No day for man nor beast. Ah, there you all are. I'll have you know I battled the blustery elements and made a special grocery run for tonight's dinner. Salem, I got your favorite tuna! Uh, t tonight? Um, I think I'll just have a salad, Quig. It's a long story. Boy, look at it snow out there. I love the winter. Who's up for a snowball fight? Right behind you. Last one out's a big, ugly jellyfish. <laughs> Woohoo!